All right, welcome back, and let's continue building our Courtney Kardashian mansion in The Sims 4. So in the first part, we pretty much built like the exterior or the shell, and now I'm just trying to work out how to exactly do the floor plan of the interior. It was kind of tricky. I didn't really know how to, like there's no sort of reference for what the floor plan of her mansion actually looked like. So it was a lot of just sort of making it up as we went. Obviously there was meant to be a foyer, so we put that there. And then it was just trying to figure out where exactly the living room would go and her little office and the kitchen and all that sort of thing, where all the living spaces would go and then where all of the bedrooms would go. So here I'm just trying to figure out how to do the stairs and how to do sort of like that upstairs balcony. And it was a struggle because as you can see, that roofing, that like round roof, caused a lot of drama, caused a lot of difficulty for, for us and I'm trying here, I'm trying all sorts of different things, trying to come up with a solution um, so we can have stairs and a big open balcony that overlooks the foyer and not have that roof clip. I think I ended up having to just like scrap it and I ended up putting these stairs just sort of like I ended up having two staircases, one on sort of like either side of the house, like which I think makes more sense, you know, if you are in a big giant house, you kind of need more than one set of stairs sort of thing. So that's what we ended up doing. I had to sort of give up the dream of having that beautiful um, balcony overlooking the foyer because that roof just... Mm, it just would not work. It just would not work. That roof just, it wouldn't allow us to. It wouldn't allow us to. And we had to just, we just had to give up on that dream and settled with putting stairs on opposite sides of the mansion going up. So now I'm just trying to work out the floor plan for upstairs as well. Essentially, I had to try to fit in three kids rooms because Courtney's got three kids as well as a master bedroom for Courtney. And it was a bit of a struggle. So initially here, I've got the master bedroom like smack bang in the middle of the upstairs and then she gets sort of like a private balcony um and so that's what we ended up doing i think but the kids rooms they change a little bit that the the layout of the kids rooms was a little bit more of a struggle um but we'll get to that later you'll see later how we how we uh try to combat that so now I'm finally doing some actual like furnishing and designing and putting in the stairs for downstairs. So I went with this like dark timber and as you can see I try to like arrange the um, grain of the wood so that the corners are like made up and that sort of thing. And now here we are just doing the living room. So she's got a black grand piano in that room as well as just some like really nice seating. It's a very sort of like neat tidy room. It's not super grand or anything like that. I think it's quite beautiful and understated. Some cool designer -y moments, but nothing too like weird and overly modern or, you know, and nothing too avant-garde really. It's just like a nice warm sort of room. So that's what we're trying to recreate with the, you know, fireplace, um, putting that nice rug in there, trying to pop in now like sort of, I guess like a focal point um, artwork. And once again, <laughs> once again, struggling a bit with the windows. And the windows just throughout this build were kind of a struggle. I just couldn't really find like the right windows, but I think they look good at the end. Just continuing finishing this living room. I've arranged sort of two coffee tables to make it a square. And now looking for sort of like the modular couches and armchairs to go around um, the sitting area. Of course, we have to pop in some end tables as well. Once again, just trying to go through my options and find the correct vibe. I'm just adding sort of like the embellishments and extra decorations to this room now. You know, curtains, blinds, um, the lighting, flowers, flower arrangements. I've gone with this sort of like coral flower theme, popped some statement books. Oh, here's a little fun tool mod decoration hack. If you want some leaning paintings, but obviously there's not that many leaning paintings in the game, you can just use tool mod to make a non-leaning painting a leaning painting by basically rotating it on whatever this axis is, the vertical axis, I think. Anyway, just rotating it so it like, you know, it sits on a bit of an angle and then leaning against the wall. And there, there you go. 
this little extra room out here from the outside you could see that room just sort of jutting out but I couldn't really figure out what it was meant to be so I think it sort of just ended up becoming sort of like an extension off the office which is what we're doing now so we've popped in a fireplace there raised a platform so it becomes a bit of a like ledge I guess the fireplace as you can see I'm using tool mod to just move it up a little bit so it sits nicely like that Courtney's got this really interesting sort of like really interesting desk it's a glass desk but then there's like a timber section that sits perpendicularly so I picked out that glass table and now I'm just trying to find a timber section a timber buffet table or console table um, to just sit you know <laughs> on the right angle to it anyways I think it looks pretty good it looks pretty similar to what she has in real life now we're just furnishing the rest of her office. The actual chairs that she has, couldn't really find anything that looked like the chairs that she actually has. So sort of sort of went a little bit rogue and picked the chairs from the Oasis, Oasis Courtyard kit. But I don't know, I think it kind of looked good. It sort of had that like rustic vibe. I don't know, it's, I think it looked good. Timber vibes. And then um, just picked out a little sort of subtle but colorful rug for this room. That painting, I've just noticed, I don't remember if it was on purpose, but it kind of matches the rug quite perfectly. So yeah, basically pop popping together now a gal gallery wall. I'm just sort of picking out the black and white moments, arranging them, and I will be using that same little hack with tool mod where I size that painting up a little bit, that picture up a little bit, and I just um, pop it on a little bit of an angle so that it looks like a leaning painting. I found these little magazine covers, which I think is obviously so fitting because we know the Kardashians have multiple magazine covers and love to display the magazine covers. So that's what I, that's why I included that. And yeah, just sort of arranging everything, leaning everything, and then adding a few more little embellishments like flowers and end tables. Again, we've gone with that same sort of like fuchsia, coral, floral arrangements <laughs> throughout. Plants always just look so nice. I, I just feel like you can't go wrong with just putting plants everywhere, floral arrangements, any indoor plants. They always look so good. Courtney's house actually didn't really contain as many plants as I typically like to include. I guess furnishing this um, mansion was a, kind of a challenge for me because her style, I guess, is like somewhat minimalist. I like lots of clutter, lots of just plants everywhere arranged in sort of like an organic way, not too symmetrical or anything like that. But her house was very much very neat, very symmetrical, not a ton of plants. Everything was all sort of like the same color palette, which kind of is like the opposite of the way I typically like to decorate. You kind of do see a little bit of my style peeking through when I had the gallery wall and clutter and flowers everywhere. But overall, we do try to stick to her like minimalist neutral color palette. So I think I pretty much had finished off the office and made that uh, attached room kind of like a little sitting room, reading nook, painting area. This foyer. This foyer <laughs> took a little while. Her real life foyer is pretty plain. It's pretty much just this like black table in the middle of this like big stark space with some, you know, plants and designery books and that kind of stuff. So that's what I tried to do. It kind of took a little while for me to find exactly the right plants that I thought looked like the actual plants that she had. It took a little while for me to even just pick the table that I thought looked like her actual table. But at the end, these are the plants that we picked. And then I obviously arranged um, those little red plants and the glass bottle things pick three of those and arrange them around and then just sized up some of the books um, and arrange them like so. The wall looked a little plain there so I've just picked out this like sort of neutrally green color palette but I think it looks good. I think it looks nice for the space. 
She's also got these like stools that surround the table. So I would just try to pick stools that look similar. But again, I didn't really have anything that looked as luxe and elevated as her real life furniture. So that's what we had to end up with. I also noticed, as you can see when I went upstairs, I noticed that a bit of that middle plant was clipping through the ceiling and you could see it on the floor upstairs. We fixed it a little later. So I made a drastic, drastic change here. Instead of that dark timber, the entire down, almost the entire downstairs uh, is now white concrete floors. I think the living room is still that dark timber, but you know, I was using the photos as reference and her floors were mostly light concrete or like, you know, some kind of light polished floor. <laughs> So that's why I picked just white concrete. Courtney's got a really interesting kitchen. She's got two kitchen islands, which kind of was a struggle for me to figure out how exactly to fit everything in. So first I tried to put them like side by side sort of lengthways, which isn't correct but I do try to correct it. I shuffle things around a little bit, placed counters along pretty much all of the walls. Needed a bit of height, I guess. A bit of height variation always looks good. So I popped in two fridges because we're fancy. Um, a tall sort of cabinet thing, then along with our stoves, two stoves again, because we are fancy, fancy. So along this wall, I'm just putting in some more of the tall cabinets as well as just the uh, wall cabinets to fill up the wall because the wall heights are pretty high in this house and just need to fill them up, you know? So we're just putting in all the little extra bells and whistles in the kitchen now. We've got the exhaust fan, sinks, a lot of sinks in this house. And then I actually, oh yeah, so I ended up extending that all out a little bit. And then that little room on the right hand side becomes sort of like a butler's pantry or butler's kitchen, whatever you want to call it. We ended up having a bit of a kitchen extension, which is always nice, so that I could fit in the two kitchen islands side by side as per the reference photos. Then I thought it would be fun to elevate the ovens up a little bit. I've actually never done this in The Sims, but you always see it. You always see fancier kitchens that the ovens sit above, <laughs> like off the ground, I guess. Anyway, we've added in a little doorway into the little butler's kitchen on the right hand side. Adding in a few cute little timber stools, adding in some hidden lighting behind the cabinets just to make sure the room is nicely lit. Here we've got a little butler's pantry. I guess, is it, what is it called? Like a butler's pantry or just sort of hidden kitchen, hidden storage room that isn't as pretty and doesn't you know it's not photographed it's not where her fancy guests go it's where the real work the real cooking and the real storage and stuff gets done we've got a lot of wine storage <laughs> three wine fridges adding in some more industrial looking counters you know with that stainless steel look some more industrial kitchen vibes in here with you know with the metal shelving and all that kind of thing we're just using tool mod to make sure everything is at the right height and everything is exactly where we want it to be adding in a few different types of shelving and storage units in here it's just just so it looks a little bit more i guess haphazard a little bit less polished and perfectly organized i guess I think I used a lot of items from the dining out pack, especially that little shelving unit. So I'm just trying to rearrange everything here to be able to fit in as much as I can. It's a, It was a pretty tiny space. It's a pretty small little awkward size space, but I think we ended up with a good little layout. And then we just added in like another little table inside where I imagine, you know, Courtney or her head chefs <laughs> would go in and plan the food for whatever dinner parties they're having and that sort of thing. This room also ended up being where the formal dining table ended up being as well. I think in her real house, well actually I'm fairly certain, in her real house, her formal dining room would definitely be in like a totally separate area, nowhere near the kitchen. But just for our sake, for the sake of this weird floor plan that we've ended up with, I ended up just having to put the formal dining table in here. Again, we are using a lot of timber and glass because she just has a lot of really nice like organic looking timber and rustic looking dark timbers in the house. So that's why we've chosen this table and the 
those uh, chairs. At the head of the table, I included a bar. And now just over on that corner, I decided to put sort of like a breakfast coffee nook sort of thing. I decided to make this also an exit out into the outdoor patio. So we've just put in some grand double doors and windows in there. So I think I'm trying to find some sort of like corner seating. Again, it was kind of hard to walk that fine line between rustic and organic, but also luxe and elevated and expensive looking. So that's why I've gone with this table. I feel like I've never used this table before, but I think it suited um, the space and that couch as well. You know, all sort of like the same color story. Of course, we needed to add in some greenery and now just like a little bit of clutter on this table since I do feel like this little breakfast nook is a little bit more informal. So that's why I thought it'd be okay to have things a little tiny bit more cluttered and messy, but it's still, as you can see, very tidy. She has a lot of flowers, at least in her architectural digest photos. <laughs> There's a lot of flowers everywhere. They've staged it like that, obviously. But, you know, we're just going to put flowers everywhere and then added in um, a few appliances. And that little cake stand was kind of like a nod to how Courtney and Chloe seem to always just have like beautiful displays of sweets and snacks and treats everywhere. You know, like how Chloe has um, her Oreos like arranged in those jars. Anyway, that was just like a little nod to that. Just making the space a little bit more cozy with some rugs and now adding more clutter into our butler's pantry here. This space as well is a bit more like hidden, a little bit more informal. So I thought it'd be okay to add like a bit more clutter and that sort of thing. I've just found some matching doors. We just changed the doors here, but I think those are matching doors to the ones in the front door, I think. Anyways, I think I just wanted some smaller doors because I scattered them all around the interior and I think smaller doors look a little bit better inside. I've also just jumped onto the gallery to find a pool table because we don't have a pool table in The Sims. It seems like such an oversight. Anyway, so I jumped into the gallery, found a pool table to complete the living room. Jumped back onto the gallery to find some garage doors and just turned this little attachment, this little L-shaped room on the left hand side, turn this into a garage. Now we're going to work on the backyard. So obviously I did some of the landscaping in the backyard last time. Landscaping in the backyard was honestly, I'd never done landscaping like this before. Something so big and open, but still, you know, trying to make it feel really Californian and expensive. <laughs> so I picked this gazebo first and tried to use the wall tools to bake like these big thick stone pillars and then try to size the gazebo up so that its pillars would sit in the, the stone wall pillars. That didn't quite work. It's okay. I did hang on to this gazebo though because I just thought it looked so perfect, especially with the uh, purple flowers growing on the side. So I've just arranged two of the gazebos into like one big mega gazebo. There's a lot of sitting areas, a lot of space to really chill and hang out and enjoy the Californian sunshine and the beautiful hilltop views. Um, so there's a lot of sitting spaces out here. It's kind of like two Two sitting spaces under this gazebo that we ended up having and then just outside the gazebo I also included like this fire pit thing and more little cushions to sit <laughs> sit and lounge by the pool although I even ended up adding in like the pool deck chairs as well so essentially there's a there's a lot of places you can come out here and chill out and enjoy the nice weather. I had also recently seen just on Instagram or something, an elevated or like floating swing chair. Found these chains and then just this little like wicker lounge without feet. So it's important that it doesn't have feet. Otherwise, when you raise it up, it looks really weird. I think it might not be functional. I think it's a little bit too high. I think I might've elevated up a little bit too 
much, but you kind of get the idea. That little swing at the end, it's sort of like a nice feature of this outdoor area. Played around with the coffee tables, played around with the furniture a little bit just to figure out what looked good in that space. We've also got a bunch of pool furniture out here as well. Just using our handy dandy red shelf in order to place a bit of clutter on these tables since they were sized down. Clutter including, you know, sunscreen because SPF is very important. Water because staying hydrated is so important. And now just adding on some final decorations like plants and whatnot onto those outdoor tables. We're switching to nighttime now in order to put a little bit of lighting out here since it's a big space and it's, you know, we're high up in the hills and it's probably dark. So we got to make sure we're well lit out here. I'm just putting a few little floor lights everywhere. And then I found this little candle. I think, I don't think, actually think it's a wall light, but I ended up using it as a wall light and just, you know, used handy dandy tool mod to make sure that it all looked good on the pillars. Just adding in a few final plants, a um, few final trees and whatnot. So I got rid of all the palm trees because I think I just realized that she didn't really have palm trees in a yard. It looked more like park trees, I guess. So added those in and just used terrain tool as well. This part, the patio, the downstairs patio, it was so fun to do because I got to add in a lot of plants. I got to do, you know, furnish a really big space, which I don't really do that often. So it was kind of nice. Um, there's my signature round table with all six chairs around. Of course, we need to have a bar out there, trying to pick a nice stone flooring. That looks pretty good. So we kind of have like one central sitting space. I just spun around two coffee tables to make one long coffee table. Those coffee tables are from Dream Home Decorator. So this is sort of like the main sitting area, I guess, right in front of the fireplace and what you'd see as you're like walking through the glass double doors through the foyer. I finally also got to decorate with plants. You know me, I love to put plants everywhere. And since I couldn't really put lots of plants inside, finally I can jump into live edit and find my little monsteras and all my little plant hacks and just fill this outdoor space with greenery because it just looks so good. Like I said, you can't go wrong. You can't go wrong with filling a space up with greenery. I found, found most of these little planters from Debug and they're just fun because you can sort of like arrange them however you want. Um, those round ones, I like to stack them up and they look like really clean modern um, planters. These little square ones or like, I don't know, they're kind of like trapezium shape, I guess. These are new to me. I don't know where they're from. I don't think I've ever used them before, but I thought it was kind of nice to put two different sized um, little palm trees in there. And once again, I'm using that uh, round concrete planter, stacking it up, sizing them down. Make If you make them all just different sizes, it kind of works. You can kind of get away with it. And then using um, existing plants to just hide the pots and you look like you've got these brand new, real nice modern plants and planters. So I actually come back to this patio a little later on. This build took five streams to do. It, you can see by the sheer size, it was a massive, massive build. Anyway, so I actually ended up getting more packs between now and like the last stream. So I ended up getting like the patio stuff pack. And so we come back, we come back to the patio and add a bunch more stuff from that pack. Moving on back inside. I didn't, I didn't know what to do with these rooms. They were too random. It was just weird and random, I thought, to have bedrooms downstairs. So this ended up being the glam room plus guest bathroom. Hi, Nori. <laughs> or just like a bathroom attached to the glam room. The bathrooms in this house. I just, I don't know. I don't know if I just ran out of imagination or creativity because they all ended up being just these like black and white bathrooms essentially nothing too exciting going on i've just done my favorite little trick which is to make the shower uh in a platform that's sunken down a step so it looks a little bit more like a realistic step down shower 
This is the glam room, AKA big wardrobe. This is like the main wardrobe sort of thing. This is where she comes to get her fittings done. It's where her stylist comes. It's where her stylist makeup team. This is where they all convene, I guess to glam up Miss Kourtney Kardashian. This is where I guess they can be a little bit more experimental and stuff. There's more space, but we do actually have a closet upstairs in the ma master bedroom as well. So, but this is the glam room. This is the glam room. So we do have an extensive wardrobe in here. Here I am struggling because the dream home decorator shelves, the little units, the fact that those four shelves don't all have little shelf slots is very infuriating. So I've got to one by one move the shoes into their spots using the red shelf mod. Every shelf had to be full of shoes because remember who owns this house. There is more shoes in this house than days I've been alive. You know what I mean? Okay, so this is the glam section of the glam room. It's where we, we get our hair and makeup done. So essentially, I've just used a few counters. Now, I don't know why the shading looked so weird there, but as you can see, like on the edge of the counters, like on the wall against the wall, it's like black it's like so dark i don't know why it's doing that if anyone knows why the shadow is so severe please tell me anyways it looked really bad so i had to pull the counters like off the wall a little bit it's hard to tell luckily but yeah the counters don't actually sit against the wall so i just found a table that was like a little like a long table to put into the middle so it sort of i don't know just gives it a little bit more variation i guess so it's not just sort of like counters and of course you need to put your feet under so we couldn't have counters there we had to have a table we're just cluttering it all up with all the various makeup and glam and perfume clutter that the game has nail polish etc etc i've just used these shelves from jungle adventure actually but i feel like these shelves are like plain and neutral enough that they can kind of fit in the space cluttering is always it's really finicky it's fiddly tool mod is your best friend if you want to have really like good precise cluttering especially when the shelves just like don't have shelving slots and you need to manually raise up everything and you just want to make sure things are like raised and elevated at the correct height i think tool mod is just the biggest lifesaver um in situations like this cluttering up with some extra things like candles and of course some plants some greenery like i said greenery just it always looks good. It literally always looks good. We've added in the floofy rug in a dark gray. I changed the walls to this lovely warm brown color, which I think just makes the space feel a little bit more unique. It's not just stark white room. I imagine she usually has like a pretty big team and glam takes a really long time. So we've popped in some comfy seating and end tables as well. I grabbed this like Princess Cordelia necklace thing. And I look, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like this was a bit of a struggle of genius put it into the counter so it just looks like a glass box of jewels sitting on the counter i i don't know i thought that was really clever <laughs> so that was the majority of the downstairs of this mansion pretty much done pretty much all furnished i did end up obtaining a few more packs in later on streams when i'm building this so i actually do come back and switch out a few little things with some new items that i got but that's pretty much it Thank you so, so much for watching. I will be filming part three very, very soon. It's all edited. I just need to film this talking, <laughs> this talking part, and that should be up um, very soon as well. That'll be the last part. I can't believe this build spans three parts, three videos. Anyways, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so, so much for watching and take care of yourselves. Bye.